Not every game lives on the idea of giving you magical powers and letting you explore a big open world. Some games just want you to be furniture. And to be honest with you, in a world with a lot of stress and anger, being that furniture sounds kind of nice. So today on Game Rant, let's look at five games that let us play as furniture. Number five, Prop Hunt, Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod, or Gmod, is a sandbox game that gives players the freedom and the tools to do several things. Using a version of Valve's Source Engine, Gmod has created a large online community of player-created content and game modes. One of the most well-known game modes being Prop Hunt. In Prop Hunt, players are split into two teams, Props and Seekers. Those on the Prop team have 30 seconds to look around the map and disguise themselves as any of the props they come across, including things like tables, chairs, and shelves. Those on the Seeker team have to find players on the Prop team and kill them using the weapons at their disposal. Seekers also lose health if they attack props that aren't players. Number four, Prop Night. Ever wondered what it would be like to combine Gmod's Prop Hunt with the multiplayer survival horror game Dead by Daylight? Oh, you haven't? Well, if you have, then look no further than Prop Night. It combines all the elements of both games in a less gory but still pretty creepy multiplayer game. Players look around the map and disguise themselves as any of the props they can find while one player tries to hunt them down. But instead of props and seekers, there are survivors and killers, and both have special abilities that they can use to win the game. <laughs> Number 3, Midnight Ghost Hunt. Hide and Seek isn't just for the living, as the game Midnight Ghost Hunt shows. It's a multiplayer game where the teams are split up into ghosts and hunters. Players battle against one another in 4v4 matches on several creepy haunted maps. The goal of the hunter is to find and exercise each ghost using high-tech ghost hunting equipment which includes a vacuum to suck up their ghostly essence and a spectral cannon which can be used to blast them away. Number 2, Peekaboo. Peekaboo is another charmingly cute prop hunt inspired game that lets you turn into furniture. It follows the same vein as other games of its kind as there are two teams with one being the hunters and the other being the props. What makes Peekaboo notable is its vibrant visuals, from a futuristic cyberpunk themed city to a dusty old town in the wild west. Each map feels genuinely alive and inhabited. There are 10 maps, but each comes with the ability to change the time of day and create a different atmosphere. Number 1, Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey introduced both the character Cappy and a new gameplay mechanic called capturing. By throwing Cappy at certain objects and creatures, Mario can transform into those things and use certain abilities related to them. A lot of the things Mario can transform into are enemies, like a Goomba, a Chain Chomp, and even a T-Rex. But there are more mundane things that he can transform into, like a Bowser statue in the Moon Kingdom or a tree in the Forest Kingdom. Well, there you have it. Five games where you can turn into furniture in order to escape your friends and everyday life. We hope you enjoyed.